Hi, I am Mariam Tapal from Smith College, where I study statistical and data sciences and mathematics. Today I'll be talking about the FEC 16R package that I am the co-author of and maintain. My co-authors are Professor Benjamin Bomber and fellow peers at Smith, Irene Ryan and Rana Gavaji. To start, I'll give an overview of what FEC 16 is. FEC 16 is a data package for use in the statistical programming language R. The package contains clean relational data from the 2015-2016 United States federal election cycle that was hosted by the Federal Election Commission, abbreviated to FEC. The data includes authoritative information about candidates, committees, contributions, expenditures, and election results. Most data sets are included in full, but due to sizing restrictions, we decided to include small samples of the others. The package does, however, give the option of retrieving the full data sets through built-in functions. I'll go over this in more detail in subsequent slides. Next, I'll talk about why you should use FEC 16. In summary, there are three main ideas. First, the data is easily accessible as the package is hosted on the comprehensive R archive network, commonly known as GRAN. Second, all the data is relational. Relational data is suitable for teaching and learning, especially for introductory statistics and data science. Joins are easy to do. Third, we have already cleaned and wrangled the data. It is user friendly. There is always demand for quality data that is both open source and easy to access in the teaching of introductory statistics and data science. Therefore, FEC 16 provides real data in a genre not seen often. Election data is diverse. It contains important financial and geopolitical information, among other subcategories. This is especially relevant to the 2020 United States presidential election. The following table summarizes all the data sets that are included in the FEC 16 package. The first column gives the name of the data set, the second column tells us if the data set is full or if it is included as a sample. The third column gives a short description of the data set. For the data sets that are not included in full, the package contains the following functions that retrieve the entire data set. Now I will show you how you can install and load the package in R and then give an example. First, to install the package, type the following command in your console. Then, by, then load the package by calling library fec16. Now we are ready to use any of the preloaded datasets and functions. For example, to view the first six lines of the candidates dataset, call head candidates. Since the contributions dataset is included as a sample to load the entire dataset, call read all contributions and save it to the variable as shown. To learn more about FEC 16, you can follow the QR code, which will direct you to the GitHub repository, or you can browse the code. You can read more about the package in the associated vignette. Thank you.